Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. Welcome back to France owns England and is growing in Ireland, apparently. And Italy owns Spain. Or as I call it, CK2. We're in the middle of a war with Lithuania. Lithuania was their subject. Their king was an asshole. I think we tried to arrest him or some shit. Uh, he tried to resist that. And so now we are going to arrest him. We have 91% war score against him, and we are fighting rebels somewhere. Some orthodox revolt that I do not know where it is. I don't remember. Oh, it's right there. Oh, they're losing, I believe. Oh, no, they've somehow got enough people to siege this area now. Interesting. Most of these areas here in the Kingdom of Georgia, which is one of our vassals, still had new administration penalties. What about... Here in Thrake, yeah, they still have new administration penalties. These are the ones we personally hold until 1180, as does Constantinople. You can see, though, the red line here, the levies. They're starting to grow in these areas as the local mayors and the like start bringing in more troops, as does our own personal castle there that we own now. We have taken the county capital for Ingerberger. That's when you have a hamburger and you're mad. Oh, Ingerberger! So angry! Who the hell is the king of France? Oh, I'm sorry, Lithuania. <laughs> oh, you're not even married to a relative. You're such a dipshit. I am taking your crown from you. Because you... Kings of Lithuania. I put them in charge back in the day thinking, hey, they're going to attack and take over the rest of Lithuania. I don't know if that's possible now with their crown authority high. But back when we had medium crown authority. No, yeah, they should be able to. I think at max, yeah, max they can no longer wage war. We want it to be max eventually, absolute crown authority, so we can become an imperial government. But that is not possible in the life of Hermes II. Let's see how his heir apparent is doing. His son, Prince Ratigan, is the child of a concubine, just and quick. He's very smart, that Ratigan. Oh. Uh, some siege or uh, trade posts fell. I think it's one of these flagged regions. I don't give a crap. <laughs> I just want to end this war with these assholes once and for all. Put in a new king of Lithuania. Yvette the Fat. She's like, I'm not fat. You've been saying that all my life. Uh, our spy master is like, my liege, may you live in harmony and contentment. I've discovered a plot. I've discovered a plot where you shut up. Because I don't care. The reason I say that is she'll auto-resolve that plot. That plot is not really relevant to us. We can registerly imprison High Chief Dan the Drunkard. Uh, there's a dangerous faction of independence. Really? How can there still be dangerous independence factions when we have won so many wars against these guys? Alright, we are going to... And the war against Lithuania. The revolt against the rule of Emperor Hermes the Sword of Erlik Khan has ended. We are going to revoke his title, Kingdom of Lithuania. How is that? What? Why? Why would the vessels be mad about that? Did I try to arrest him unjustly? I forget how that all works. Maybe that's what happened. Either the game just screwed me or I got confused. I probably got confused. We're going to send the troops home. We're going to have the retinue join up here. Then maybe chase the raiders out, ideally. Well, I'm not going to take his crown if all my vassals are going to get super pissed at me. Fuck you, game. <laughs> How in the world everybody doesn't love him is beyond me. My prisoner, Franz, is complaining about his prison. All right, let's see if anybody is worth ransoming. I doubt we have any prisoners that are. No. Oh, wait, we do. We have one. I was wrong. Frugin. That fruity fuck, bud. <laughs> All right, we'll ransom him. We can't ransom the king we just captured because he does not have enough money. We might just leave him in prison anyway because he's a dipshit. 
And this would hopefully be the perfect point in time. Elbeardo the Weird Frugin is like, Yay! I've ransomed myself. My prisoner is complaining about his dark cell. I, dude, but didn't I release you? It even literally says that. But didn't I release you? That's hilarious. <laughs> After he gets out, he's like, my cell's bad. Dude, you're free. Shut the fuck up. We can usurp some titles. Duchy of Bavaria. Ooh, finally? We need more money for that, though. We want to do that because that'll lower our vassal limit problem. For some reason, we are over our personal domain size. Oh, yeah, because we picked a wife who ain't good, has no stewardship. Can we divorce her? Uh, apparently not. I'm not going to plot to kill my wife. That seems a little heavy-handed. We will put in a commander. This guy. Yeah, I'm not too worried about the independence factions. I can't believe there still are independence factions, to be honest. Alright, Retinue, we will have you merge. And then attack these dirty raiders. You have no arc. Get the hell out of here. Yeah, look at them try and run. You thought you could raid this guy's territory, and you probably did for a while, but it's done now. Oh, you... <laughs> Apparently they were faster than us. I wish our local... Lo local? Yokel? Our local lords would remember when we did nice things like this, like get rid of raiders, and be like, Oh, our leash is good! He protects us. Then again, maybe we didn't do that so much when we had a leash. We were too worried about our own selfish gains. Die, raiders, die. Victory Retinue, we will bring you back home. The kitchen is a truly run wonderful place. This is about our son, Radigan, Hermes' son, uh, with delicious things and smells. But it worries me that Radigan spends all his time here when he should be practicing sword fighting and learning how to rule. Hmm. We're going to go up to him and be like, Radigan, you need to learn how to beat people in the face. Ooh, Radigan has learned sword fighting. He has become brave. Plus two to martial. Plus one personal combat. Plus 10% moral defense. Plus 10 uh, vassal opinion. And same trade opinion. Radigan seems to have no fears at all. He's gained brave. He is brave, just, shadow of the concubine, and quick. I so hope he ends up being our heir. He's got some good traits. And we have not had much in the way of good traits, really, family-wise. We have a weak claim on that area. I don't care. That's our vassals area, dude. It's all good. We need to start getting some more money, though. I don't believe we can build any more cities. Oh, we don't own Severn anymore, do we? I forgot. We gave that away because we took Thrake and Constantinople, which were worth more. Still got that giant negative 30% local tax modifier on all these areas until 1180 because it's a new administration. Mercy me, cried the thief when Melisenda confronted him and accused him of being a robber. She's like, that guy stole my coins. Uh, and Hermes is like, I don't care about your old lady stories. He's a petty thief. And she's mad that we don't want to hear her old lady stories. <laughs> she's a Catholic heretic. And she's one of our... I don't know, she lives in our area. Whatever. Let's look at Tangri religion. Our shaman is trying to convert Thrake. One little Orthodox region and Catholic regions here kind of hold out. Mostly, though, nice blue Tangri all over the place. A lot of Catholics. Obviously, a lot of Sunnis in the south. Whoa, do we have heretics in our area? Uh, you are Christian... How the hell did you end up in charge? And you're German. Oh, wait, that's not our territory. That's Keymax. For a second, I was going to be like, there's no way we would have put a guy in charge like that. We put in charge guy's name, German, but not German. Look at the Lords of the Skies. They continue to grow. For the Lords of the Sky or any Tangri leader here, this should be easy territory to take. 
because we're the big power in the region and we're not contesting people for it. My liege, my mission to Darum. Who are you going to see? Why are you not going to the Caliph? It's probably my bad. Uh, where is the Caliph's territory? Oh, there it is. What? No wonder why I couldn't find it. It was way in Tunis. Chancellor, go kiss up to the head of... Uh, the Abia... You bay did it, son! Them dudes. Uh, oh, Togol died! He was one of our great military commanders. He helped us beat the Byzantines. He helped us beat the Romans. We will appoint a new commander. Prestig no, we'll appoint this guy. So he likes us a little more. Veklis is no longer Chancellor for Emperor Hermes II. Apparently, putting that guy in charge as Chancellor killed him. We'll put Mom Chill, and we're going to send him to the same area. If they want to murder him because he doesn't like us a lot, it'll get rid of him. We don't want these guys leading armies. How are we doing tech-wise? Now we're doing pretty good. We could put a point into Tolerance that uh, lowers the penalty for different cultures and religions. We'll put one into Popular Customs. City vassals would like us more. We'll do that. Let's see, for economy, we can put one into castle infrastructure. That would increase castle taxes. Ch we could increase church taxes. Let's increase tax... Ugh. I made that one word. <laughs> castle taxes and unlock... What is that? Building barracks 5. Militia training grounds 3. And we're not really going to worry about shipbuilding because we... We're, we are getting more territory that's coastal, but we don't have a lot for how big our empire is. Hi, Chief Dragoman of Vladimir. Has usurped a title and nobody gives a crap. How powerful is the Byzantine Empire? Oh, they've gotten powerful again. 36,000 troops. Compared to our 34... Well, we fought a lot of wars that were kind of knocked down, drag out wars we didn't really want. Our retinue is still busy trying to replenish its depleted troops. And that's part of the reason why we're having money problems right now. In fact, that is the main reason. We... Oh, shit. King Bernadine loves us. Absolutely loves us. But he wants to fight another rebellion. Bernadine, go suck a frog dick. You sister Mary and fuck nut. I can't make you love me anymore, you fucking shithead. I'll give you the honorary title of Venerable Elder. I hope you die soon. Merry Christmas. Merry Tangry Miss. Tangry the Goose God, please strike him down with your goose shit. Honk. He's a lunatic. Maybe that's why. He's a gluttonous lunatic who is proud, cynical, arbitrary. And lustful. I guess that would go with his character. My liege, my mission to Tunis has so far been a success. Excellent. Do you like me more now, Chancellor? Yeah, he's neutral. High Chief German of Senge claims the High Chief or High Priest Bruiser is attempting to promote vile heresies. He is the High Chief of the Tangri religion. I'm not worried about him being a heretic, dude. This independence faction is going to kick off, and we're going to have another independence war, I think. How dare you threaten the sword of Erlik Khan, Emperor Hermes? How many times have we had these stupid rebellions? We can righteously imprison this guy. No, we can't. All right, fine. I guess our person took care of it right away. Crusade for Pannonia. Are you kidding me? Didn't we just finish one of these? His Holiness, Pope Asshole, I mean Martinus II, is worried about the state of the souls of the kingdom of Pannonia. We're great. We're doing great here, y'all. We're doing awesome. We're all tangry. 
The heathens under Emperor Hermes, the second of Carpathia, have no hope for salvation and will suffer the eternal fires unless they can be brought to Christ in this life. Any Christian willing is offered a complete absolution of sins in the Tsar mission against the Tangri Barbarians. The only good thing is that might lower the independence faction, as they might all be like a holy war. We gotta fight these damn Catholics. Stupid Pope. To the foul bigot Hermes II, tales of your misdeeds are told from Ireland to Cafe. I didn't know they talked about me so much in Ireland. I'm awesome. Hopefully the lovely Irish ladies are getting their shamrocks off to the um, Emperor Hermes. This is a formal declaration of war. Our army shall meet on the field of battle. Oh, great. Alright, just kind of taking a look. See who's going to join the Pope's war for... Pannonia. Oh, my nephew, High Chief Drizlov, asked me to spend some quality time in Krakow. Hell yeah! Hanging out in Poland sounds nice, nephew. That sounds like a good break from these holy wars, from these annoying Catholics trying to steal my lands. Look at all this prestige Hermes has. Chief Bert, that's our son or brother, Drizlov and I had a great time together. I feel we've really strengthened our family bonds. I think that's our brother. Yeah, our half-brother, Bert. What's up so far, Pope? Nobody's joining your crusade. Hmm. Why don't we take a look at the Catholic countries while we're at it? Just the ones that are near us. Italy has... 37,000 troops? Well, they are huge, all right? A holy war could be a problem. The Holy Roman Empire is same. How is it? France? Oh, man. And that area they want is like the giant heart of the empire. Hopefully... Oh, no. All right, so the queen of... What is that? Ireland? What's left of Ireland has joined it. The king of Scotland has joined it. Neither of them have huge armies, so that those aren't major concerns for me. And then some dukes have... The major concerns would be if Italy, France, or the Holy Roman Empire join. What about Aquitaine? Aquitaine would be a problem too. But the biggest ones are Italy or the Holy Roman Empire. So we're just going to wait. Bernadine Dictopolis wants to marry my daughter? Go fuck off, you lecherous pervert. No! It's like, my wife died, who I was related to. Can I have incestuous relations with your daughter? No. No, you cannot have incestuous relations with my daughter. Oh, her husband died. We will marry her off to... Nobody else wants to marry her. No other kings, apparently, because maybe we're a different religion. We'll marry her off to this old dude. So right now, uh, what is that? Ireland and Scotland are our enemies. Is this a little bit of England trying to form? I mean, it's technically Wessex, but... Galatia still survives, despite France taking much of England. How is Spain doing? It is mostly Catholic now. Mostly Catholic. Uh, he wants to marry another relative. Go fuck yourself, Bernadine. Ask for someone who you're not related to, and we'll say cool. What is the moral authority of the Tangri religion? 69.9, it has dropped dramatically because of lost holy wars. That's not because of us. There must be other Tengri rulers fucking it up. Alright, some other dukes have joined the holy war. Uh, we can call in allies. He's going to say no, though, because he's Christian and his family, though related to us, they're part of our dynasty. They always say no to helping us. My Emperor, I'm pleased to report the majority of the population of Herat is converted to the Tangri faith. Ooh. Where is this Herat? Oh, sweet. This area here converted so very quickly. So sooner or later, you would think either down here in the south... Oh, 
Are these guys them? The army of the papacy. Excellent. They have decided they're going to start sieging us. We're going to move our retinue right here in Ternu. What is the best area to attack these guys from? Well, we obviously don't want to cross the Danube. Ternu would probably be just fine. Let us raise up some local troops. Come on, nobody around here has got big armies? Come on, some of you high chief motherfuckers have got to have some armies worth of shit. No? Fine, we will raise our own personal troops up. We'll put them there. We'll put our retinue right next door. We'll send these vassal troops there. See if we can pull in a few more vassal troops. I would think we'd have a lot more vassal troops because we have high crown authority. We should be getting a ton of troops from our vassals, but for some reason it dropped way down. What the hell? Did the game just glitch? I don't know why it dropped so low. Because we should be getting like 80%. 60% minimum levy from our vassals. And for some reason, our vassal numbers totally just dropped. I'm not sure what that's all about. Hoping it's not a game glitch. Either way, that's the end of this episode. And I hope to see you all next time when we take on the army of the pain in the ass Pope. Hopefully we can win a big battle there. Start getting the war to go our way right off the bat. Take it easy, everybody, and I'll see you all next time.